as you see it's quite close to everything but still pass everything is the biggest tank welcome on the channel and welcome in underground workshop it means basement in Victorian house today I wanna what I wanna do today is uh, build uh, build yeah I don't wanna build but I have to build a water tank for camper this water tank will be fitted just behind the rear uh, axle oh, first try of fitting 71 and it's proof 71 liter water tank underneath I don't know if it's visible or not it's quite light outside anyway it's uh, just behind the rear axle and just behind the rear axle and according my measurements the spare wheel should fit in this space always uh, we have a problem with depth it looks like it should be enough place to fit it tight but enough so uh, what I wanna fit I wanna fit the water filler unfortunately I have no nut was cheaper double twice cheaper so bulkhead connector to connect the um, water uh, water pump and breather I have step drill which matching size of bulkhead connector so means it will be simply job so let's start it uh, okay I measure where I have like a restricted area because of chassis cross members so because bulkhead con connector and beaver are with nuts with nuts so I wanna fit them in a place where I can reach by hand to fit the nut. Means you can fit the nut even if you can can cannot reach such a such a things. But it's a fiddling, so I don't wanna do this. So first I wanna drill the holes. We start from bulkhead connector for the water pump, and as everybody know, it should be somewhere in the middle just to like uh, not compensate you you cannot compensate but you know because one can be like a more on offside more on near side or means left or right road not road surface can be uneven just you wanna wash your hands when you like a park on a curb so it will be water will be on the one side or on the second side because this tank will be cross the van so what I wanna do, I wanna fit a connector somewhere here and make a pipe which will touch the bottom of the tank somewhere around the middle. Okay, so let's try to do this. 26. The problem is the tank is thicker than okay. So we have one hole because this is forty seven O two and I ha no, have no nut for it, yeah? I paid 6 quid with nut, cost 30. So let's try, make a, I will try, make a bit smaller hole and push it inside by force. 
so it's a 40 40 47 nearly 47 unfortunately I have only strange holes so which have 44 so it's a three mil less but let's try it Exactly, <laughs> exactly like a whole soul. Don't wanna be bigger. And right now I have to. Of course, queen. Right now I have to make this hole be bigger, and I have two options: file or knife. Let's try with quite a danger tool with with knife. Because we have. Tell the truth is better with standard drill bit. Okay. So right now we have like a hose for things what I what I wanna I have holes for things what I wanna fit and of course I have no hole for water level sensor because I don't have water level sensor right now and I have to wait a bit to buy just budget so I decide to install tank without it you know tank still can operate yes <laughs> if you have water you know a bit about it just you don't know how much you have okay and drain pipe why I don't fit the drain pipe because let's say I can pump out the water from the tank uh, this is first thing and sec second thing somebody says uh, can uh, tell so I can like a flush the tank for flushing is the best they take the tank out so that's it and second reason uh, uh, why I not fitting the drain pipe here because this is always problem because it can leak this is this all these holes and let's say future water level sensors on the top so when it can leak it can leak 
when can leak only is uh, with attack is overfill and that's it okay you breaking water move to the front something can one drop or two this is clear clean water it's not a problem and you never lose this water but if drain pint starts leaking you have problems because you can lose all your water what I want to do right now before I start fitting anything I want to vacuum Can be blue, but I don't have any blue pipe right now, so Long. Okay, uh, this pipe going into this tank like that. Why not like a I know, can be straight, but this pipe is never straight, so I will bend it. And it's a bit longer. And you see this mold. Yeah? So it fitted not in the middle, it's fitted like that. To tell you, can be here, will be from one side better. But here, even if something loose, this pipe cannot move behind this so it still will be somewhere here yeah and it should be somewhere in the middle okay let's fit it
Okay, I hope. As you see, it's a bit tight here with this filler. I don't know how come I measure it. It should I have like a five mil space right now. It shows I have no space, no space at all. Okay, we manage it. River pipe, water pipe, water filler. Something is strange, but we managed it. As you see, it's a quite close to everything, but still pass everything. It's the biggest tank you can fit here if you want to keep spare wheel underneath. I hope so spare wheel will fit. I have no spare wheel and no lift for spare, li uh, spare wheel, so I cannot confirm or not. I calculate, so it should fit. It's just behind it rear axle so hopefully will be okay with ground clearance with everything was a bit complicated because because it's so tight not tight but anyway it's not enough space so so when you measure a few times I, I have to bolt it in or bolt it out few times moving some details and tweaking some elements of it. It looks like that right now. Of course, one thing more, 
I have to do, I have to protect somehow. I know I have a few ideas how to protect this this water filler pipe because right now it sits on the spring is not good it will be so have to be on the top okay so it will be when it will be done will be let's say ready <laughs> 